In this video I want to talk a little bit about Hamilton cycles in graphs and I want to start by reminding you that in 1970 Lovas conjectured that every finite connected vertex transitive graph has a Hamilton path. So if this is unfamiliar please revisit the video on the Lovas conjecture about Hamilton paths. And then it's important to point out that to date no known example of a finite connected vertex transitive graph with no Hamilton path would exist. In fact, when searching for the Hamilton paths in these finite connected vertex transitive graphs, we almost always get a Hamilton cycle as well. So these almost always, in fact, these almost always have a Hamilton cycle. and those are the ones that have been checked at least. In fact, there are only, when I, what do I mean by almost always? I mean that so far we only know of five that don't. So only five examples that don't. You know, what I mean by that is there are only five examples of finite connected vertex transitive graphs which do not have a Hamilton cycle, which is somehow even better than a Hamilton path. It's more strong. So what are these five examples? They may not be the only five examples. There may be others, but they're the only five that are known. So I've taken this from wolframmathematics.com. And they are the two paths, so the path on two vertices, the Peterson graph, see I told you the Peterson graph was going to come up as counterexamples to things, um, the Coxeter graph is another example, and these next two are actually just similar to the Peterson graph and similar to the Coxeter graph, but if you look carefully, every vertex of the Peterson graph is now replaced by a triangle and every vertex of the Coxeter graph is now replaced by a triangle. So they're known as the Peterson graph, the Coxeter graph, and their triangle replaced graphs, as well as this sort of trivial one. In fact, sometimes this one right here, this two path, is sometimes not listed as one of the examples, and we just say um, the non-trivial cases. Why is this one considered trivial? Well, it's trivial because there cannot be a Hamilton cycle because it um, doesn't have any cycles. So that's why this one is considered to be trivial. So this brings up the question, are there only, only finitely many connected vertex transitive graphs with no Hamilton cycle. So clearly there are five, but are there more? And are there only finitely many more? So maybe the answer is that there are 20 of them, or maybe the answer is that there are only five of them. But the question is, is there an infinite, mon uh, infinite number of them which do not have Hamilton cycles? So that's interesting, and it's very much an open question. So to get you thinking a little bit more about Hamilton cycles, um, I have a problem for you to try. So first of all, I want you to just look at the Peterson graph. Um, this graph is a little bit more easy to deal with than something like the Coxeter graph. That's pretty clear. Um, what I want you to do is to take a look at the Peterson graph and to first of all try to find a Hamilton path in the Peterson graph. Now that's not hard to do at all and that should take you maybe 10 seconds of checking the graph. After that, I want you to try to prove that the Peterson graph has no Hamilton cycle. And this will really get you into the mode of looking for Hamilton cycles in graphs. And in the next few videos, we will prove some theorems that are known about Hamilton cycles in graphs.